Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be tackling my refrigerator. As you guys know, if you've been following along, we have been doing a lot of work on the kitchen and just different projects around the house. And this week my new refrigerator came. I'm so excited. This is the biggest refrigerator that I have ever had and I was able to pick it out and get the one that really works for our needs. And so I'm going to be diving in with all of the organized tools and things like that. I even have a few tips and tricks that I have learned from some other people that I want to implement into this organize. So let's go ahead and get started. Here are a few of the tools that we will be using today and I may pull out a few other things. Some of these things are new and I'll talk about that as we get organizing and some of them are things that I've had from other projects that I'm no longer using and I'm going to try to use in this little organizing project. So I I think the first thing that I'm going to tackle is my produce. The reason that I chose this refrigerator is because it has so much space inside. There's not a lot of bells and whistles. It's really very simplistic, but they just laid the space out very, very wisely. And I think that it's amazing how deep the doors are. There's a lot of space in there for condiments and milk and other things like that. And of course, having a deli drawer that's in the bottom is also going to be really useful since we do get a lot of deli cuts and things like that on a regular basis. So today I had a little person around the kitchen that kept asking if she could help me out in my project of organizing the refrigerator. So you're gonna see her helping me here and kids just love getting involved with whatever you're doing. And I made the comment to my husband while we were doing this that it probably is going to take twice as long <laughs> with her helping me out. But you know what? The reward was so worth it. She felt so fulfilled and after she was done helping me, she went off and played and just really had a good time so I was glad that I had her join in with me and so what I'm doing here is we are putting the produce into these airtight jars I've been seeing all over Instagram and Pinterest a lot of people saying that if you put your produce into like a canning jar and you close the lid that it lasts twice as long with that airtight seal. So I'm putting that to the test. These are not regular canning jars. They are the hinge top canning jars or I guess storage jars. But I do think that they're going to serve the same exact purpose and some of them are a bit bigger, a little bit of a different size than what canning jars would be and have a nice big opening there to make it easy to get our fruits and veggies out. So I will let you know over on Instagram, on my stories in the next couple of weeks, how this experiment goes and if it actually aids in the longevity of our produce. I am someone that does not grocery shop every single week. I often do it every other week and there are certain types of grocery trips that I do once a month. And I've mentioned some of that in my videos over on my main channel. If you guys watch me over there, you know how I share a lot of cooking and the ways that, that we eat is a little more old fashioned with a lot of home canned goods and things like that. So being able to create a space where my vegetables and fruit last twice as long would be just incredible. And one of the other things that's really helpful for cucumbers, carrots, and celery is to add some cold water in. The tips that I read is you do want to change the water out every few days it just helps to keep it fresh so I'm filling those specific jars up with water as you can see the next thing that I'm going to do is create some labels on some acrylic basket clips so you're gonna see me put those on I made the labels with my Cricut I know it's been a while since I've used my Cricut here on my channel I know I've been using my other small labeler a lot in the last couple of videos but I just thought this would be a fun way to be able to label the things that will go on the doors 
Hey friends, I am thrilled to tell you about today's video sponsor and that is Marlo. We have been using their pillows, both Corey and I, and I am so excited because I've been looking for a good pillow for the last little while. I'm the type of person that likes a lot of fluff in my pillow and Marlo has been able to give me that. But on the flip side, my husband likes a more flat pillow and Marlo is able to give him that as well. It's it's all the same pillow, but this pillow is adjustable. I have never heard of anything like this before, but let me tell you, it actually works. Marlo is a pillow designed to give you better sleep, and I can definitely attest to that. So the way that it's so adjustable is there is a zipper along the side. It is also filled with extra chilled cooling infused foam, so you don't have to worry about getting hot, and it has this mesh on the sides where airflow can can come in and out. It's honestly just a genius design. So if you're someone like my husband who likes a more firm pillow, you simply zip up the sides and it will become more firm. However, if you're someone like myself who enjoys a more fluffier or plush pillow, then you'll just want to unzip the sides to allow the pillow to expand a bit more and to be a bit more plush. It's just customizable for whatever you enjoy most. So when you buy two pillows from Marlo, you're gonna save 20%. If you buy four pillows from Marlo, you're gonna save 30%. I also wanted to let you know that you can save up to 30% off for Marlo's Memorial Day sale and an additional 20% off when you use my link. So you can go ahead and stock up. So I know that you all will love these pillows as much as we do. They are just so worth it. Their price point is amazing for a good quality night's sleep. If you're still on the fence, Marlo offers a 365 day return policy, plus a two year warranty if you're not completely happy with your purchase. It's a risk free way to get a great night's sleep. So go ahead and check out Marlo with my link below in the description box. At this point, I decided to put all of the things I had already prepared in the jars into the refrigerator. I will leave links for the jars that are this size below in the description box, and you can test this out for yourself if you want to see if you can get your produce to last a bit longer. And then I took the acrylic basket labels and put them on to the different sections in my door. And I'll see if I can find a link for these. I know I had purchased these in store at Walmart, but I may be able to find some that are very similar to them online. And I have never been able to find a very good system when it comes to the doors in our refrigerator. So I'm excited to see if we can stick with this. I think having labels helps everyone else in the household keep up the organization and put things away where they need to go. In the past, I have done some decanting with my condiments and I just could never really keep up with it. I think I needed a better system and way to wash out the bottles where I was decanting into, but either way, I think that kind of giving them groups like this is going to be a much more simplified system. So these are the juice or milk um, pictures that I had picked up to try out. We have had some other ones. However, they've been a little bit too big for my daughters to use. So these I think are a great size and I make a lot of my own homemade juices. So the first jar that I filled there is with homemade apple juice. The middle one is with homemade grape juice. And then the last one I do purchase frozen orange juice concentrate and we mix that up. If you're curious how I make some of these things, you can check out my main channel. I have a lot of that info over there. So these actually came with some silicone lids, which I think are gonna be really easy to clean. They're also really simple for my daughters to open up. And I also think these are just adorable in my refrigerator. And if you guys have watched my refrigerator organization videos in the past, you know that I like to go with a rainbow color in my refrigerator with my produce and fruit. You all did tell me, however, the last time I did this, that there are certain fruits and things that do make other things spoil more quickly, like apples. So I did not put my apples in here and I just have them in a basket on my countertop.
Here in the deli drawer, I guess is what this re is referred to, I use these very shallow drawer dividers. You all know I've used them in other refrigerators in the past, but these specifically are very, very shallow and they fit perfectly in this. I will leave them linked below. I just thought it would help to kind of divide out the different sections of my deli cheeses and things like that. I buy a lot of things in bulk, so I buy a lot at once. So often I buy cheeses for an entire month and just have them in the refrigerator. So having all of this space to store all of that every month is perfect. I actually really enjoy making my own homemade yogurt, so it's not very often that we have a lot of store-bought yogurt, but with us just moving and all of the things we've been doing lately, I had a bunch of store-bought yogurt. So I just used this acrylic container to kind of keep that all confined, and I like to keep these little containers on hand, and I can use them as I need them. In this space, I put our sour cream and ricotta cheese and things like that. I need to get back to making some homemade sour cream I've done that in the past and it's really simple to do I don't purchase a lot of conveniency foods but one thing I do like to buy and haven't gotten into the habit of making is hummus we just use that for a lot of veggies and crackers and it's just a really good healthy nutrition packed dip All right, I am so happy with how this came out. I am so anxious to see how this whole system works, if it actually keeps my produce longer. If you've experimented with this yourself, let me know in the comments. Um, I am just really interested, especially because I try to limit my trips to the grocery store in a month, and that would help out so, so much. So up here at the top, I have this little turntable. We had been having a problem with losing jars in the back of the refrigerator refrigerator that we opened up with fruits or vegetables in them from my home canned goods. So I just want a designated spot in here. I don't know that this turntable will work forever because I think it needs to not have a side. I think it needs to be just a flat turntable for this, but we will use that for the moment. I always put a spot in for leftovers, even if there aren't any in here, because I get that comment every time I do a fridge organized is where do the leftovers go? So that is why that is sitting up there just to represent Present that we've got eggs here and I may get some other egg containers just because we eventually want to get some chickens of our own I get eggs from my sister-in-law and my mom right now this bin may fluctuate depending on what I'm doing normally I make my own yogurt and then over here we've got a bin of just grab and go hummus which is something that we like to dip a lot of veggies and stuff in we got sour cream we are a big sour cream family and i use that in a lot of recipes and then obviously here are all of the fruits and veggies i'm happy with how this thing turned out i think it's going to just suit our needs so well and again all of this is so easy to fluctuate depending on what i get in my groceries for that month or that week and I just really kept this not labeled because I think it's going to fluctuate a lot. Okay, so here on the door, this is a whole new idea for me, but I really think it's going to work. And that's one reason I loved this refrigerator was just because they used so much space in the doors and even the little bottom cubies like you guys have seen. I just think that it's going to help me so much with keeping all the little odds and ends front and center. And I don't have to worry about losing them in the back of the refrigerator. And I just think that it's going to be a good system. I will keep you guys updated on whether or not this works out. I probably will update you on my Instagram account. So if you don't follow me over there, you can go ahead and do that. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box below to check out Marlo. We have been really loving their pillows. I know that you will love them as much as we do. And you can take advantage of their Memorial Day sale right now. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope this video inspired you. If you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Stick around for lots more organizing 
and home inspiration and leave me a comment below i love responding and chatting with you all in the comments and i'll see you guys in the next video